What is up everybody, welcome back to my channel Mystic Watch and today we got a brand new video. So we're going to be talking about the new maintenance notice that just came out a couple hours ago and it's going to be going over the new slime collab. So there's always two updates, there's the maintenance notice and then there's the actual update itself with the full patch notes. As of right now, we only have the maintenance, so I don't know why they do this, why don't they just give us the full patch notes now? It's so weird, just, just let us know what's coming. <laughs> You're not like... Building any hype with this, just just tell us. We just want to know, okay? But either way, uh, I'm just gonna say this. Uh, I made a video talking about upcoming units and things like that, and I mentioned slime collab before. For the most part, I I pretty much mostly all the YouTubers knew that slime collab was coming. It's just that in like you know in trying to keep within the Netmarble guidelines, we didn't make any videos on it because you never know. But yeah. Pretty much knew this was coming. Besides that, it doesn't seem like they're doing anything different from from how GP got it, which is fine. I'm actually a little bit disappointed in that. Now, there's not 100% confirmation of that. You, it, things can change, but just from the looks of it, it seems like we're going to be getting the same iterations of these units that we got on JP. Now, these units on JP, I'm just going to be straight up. They're 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 cool, but they're not good. They they really just they just aren't good. They will be fun to use, and they're just cool because it's a collab unit and everything like that. But at the end of the day, they're not going to be meta-breaking units. They're not going to be like, let's say this wasn't a collab and they weren't exclusive units and they were just regular units that were going to be on the banner. I would tell people who are watching my channel to skip this banner. But now, here's the other part. They're exclusive units, and they're slime collab units. So, because of that, I'm summoning. <laughs> uh, the celebration itself should be really fun. This also means that we're probably getting Green Lilia to come out on the banner as well. And Green Lilia event for her to farm, which is a nice free-to-play unit. So we can take a, a quick sneak peek at what these units look like. So, let's start off with Rimuru. Rimuru. Re, um, Benimaru, and Milo. Okay. So, uh, we'll start off with this one because it's the boring one. Rimuru, Slime Rimuru is one of, or should be a free-to-play unit. It's the only SR that we're getting out of the collab. And he has a pretty cool effect. Uh, passive is, heals all allies 5% of diminished HP at the start of every turn. Now this isn't that, sh it's it's fine, it's a good passive, you use them in the back, uh, obviously a pretty decent passive. But for example, like red SR Elizabeth is just better. Now in terms of the moves, removes buffs from one enemies and inflicts damage equal to 220% of attack. Keep in mind that this is the same exact move that green Lilia has on global, however, on JP, I don't want to confuse anyone. This effect was added in very recently. So we might not get this this remove buff effect right away, and it might just come without it. Like this, this whatever you call it, text was not here when this Rimuru came out. It was added in probably just a month ago. The second move is just a heal. And then ultimate is fine, inflicts damage and depletes ultimate gauge. So that's about it, right? Slime unit, not used too much. Now Rimuru is pretty cool. All the slime units have like some sort of stacking passive. So Rimuru's is in increased defense related stats by 8% up to 5 times. Now it doesn't, on paper, it doesn't even seem that bad. It inflicts rupture, it does 2 times damage against buffed enemies. The boss that we will be getting, right, should be Ifrit. And he will be uh, buffing himself a lot, so Rimuru is going to be like the golden unit for that boss. And he's going to have a separate coin shop and currency and everything like that. Now, obstruction is he goes debuff immunity, and then he heals 30% of diminished HP at the start of next turn. This is honestly a pretty cool move. The second a rank gets taunt, and then the final one does taunt for two turns and debuff immunity, and it's also 50% HP. It makes him really tanky, right? And that, that's the main thing. He gets really, really, really tanky. 
And with the defense related stats going up, every time uh, he takes damage, he just gets tanky. But problem is his base stats are not that good. And he kind of just dies beforehand. He's also blue and Escanor exists and Escanor just does not care. He just smacks away, which is another issue. Ultimate is the same exact ultimate as Meliodas. Cancels buffs and stances, and then stuns for one turn. Now, I might try to go for a 6-6 six, six here, just because. Who knows? Who knows? We'll find out. We'll find out. But yeah, Rimuru, this Rimuru is also the only one with an association link. The other ones, like with, it, with, an extra, with a different ultimate, I should say. The other ones only have the... Like bonus without the link or without the fate link. Benimaru, Unbreakable Pride, increases the damage, hero's damage by 3% per skill use. Problem is, it's like he's supposed to be like a super scaling monster. This is just not enough. It really is just not enough. And you don't you don't see the difference. Yet. If they ever add content where it's like you want to survive for as long as you can or something like that. That is where he'll pop off. But that's not what PvP really is, unfortunately. You can make a stall team. Which sounds pretty cancerous. But <laughs> probably do it at some point. Then you got a weak point. So same exact move as Jericho, which is a strong move. And then this one, which is a good move. Uh, AoE defense related stats of all enemies for... 20% for 2 turns, 30% for 2 turns, and 40%. Then you got inflicts damage equal to 5 60% of attack on one enemy, decreases skill rank, and depletes the ultimate uh, move gauge by the number of skill rank decreases. So what this does is you hit, a, hit an opponent, Hauser has the same one, but it's AoE. So he hits an opponent, and if that opponent has like a silver or a gold card, they get reduced by one rank. And then they get their ultimate gauge reduced by however many cards were, you know, ranked down. And then let's take a look at Milam, who originally, Milam was used in PvP a decent amount of time. But hers is increases crit damage by 8% per skill used by the hero up to 10 times. So up to 80% crit damage increase. And, you know, it, it scales pretty hard. You can get an additional 23% pairing up with Rimuru. She's got Spike, which does double crit damage on her whatever this move is. And then here, this move is super weak, but it's pretty useful. 60% damage, disables ultimate move for one turn. I believe the only other person who has this is Vivian. And besides that, no one really utilizes this that well, but it's a cool, it's a cool card. And Milam saw a decent amount of play in PvP when she came out. Ultimate is inflicts detonate 15% additional damage per orb in the target's ultimate move gauge. So the way this works is it calculates it on each target individually. So if you have three enemies and they all have maximum ultimate gauge, it's not gonna do like a billion damage and one shot nuke everyone. What it does is it looks at one one unit at a time and it's like okay how much uh ultimate gauge do you have okay i'm doing this much damage to you then it checks the next unit and then checks the next unit now the issue with milum is one is this zero crit resistance and crit defense so you get crit you die and then the other issue is zero pierce rate and this that this that is horrendous like having zero pierce rate means you just build defense and and she does no damage she just does no damage i tried taking her to red demon right and stacking her passive to maximum and she just she just doesn't do anything she just never does anything ever and i'm like what is going on i was just like so confused that i like i just did no damage ever to red demon but yeah, like these are the three people, like I said, they're not amazing. It's not like you have to summon for them and get them. Now, the other thing is you will get a free copy of one of the three if they go down the same route. 
They gave us a ticket, an SSR ticket that guaranteed us one of the three units, which is also really cool. Besides that, that's really it. The event should be fun. It was an amazing event with plenty of things to do, plenty of things to farm, and it just felt good, right? The main thing is we didn't take a look at Lilia, and let's do that before we end off. We're taking a look at Lilia, and she's actually an amazing free-to-play unit. So you want to make sure you farm her completely to full, and please feed her dupes in, right? She's an amazing 6-6 unit. Look at this. It decreases all enemies' attack by 16% in PvP. You throw on our PvP team, and it's great. Inflicts damage equal to 180%, decreases attack-related stats by 20%, and then this one is a debuff that increases all enemies' uh, damage taken by 20, 30, and 50. So she is such a good support unit. It's, I, I use her plenty of times, and I still occasionally use her on PvP in JP. Ladona, you know, don't underestimate this unit. Flicks damage equal to 350% of attack on all enemies, decreases skill ranks, and then depletes, but, so the same exact move as Benny Maru, just the AoE version, or if you want to say it's the same move as Hauser, you got it down. And that's gonna be it. So that's a quick sneak peek at what it's like. Let me actually see. Let's do um, Mystic Watch Slime Collab. So I talk about everything here as well, and we get in, like there's you could see the shop and everything. I might go over this stuff later. But this was the JP version, so if you're ever curious, you can take a look at it there. And that's going to be it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you all next time. Peace out.